We're going to do a lecture, the province of Prince Edward Island, PI. Facts about PI. PI is the smallest province in Canada with a population of 139,000 people. It's also one of the most beautiful places in Canada. It is quiet and safe place to settle. Shell Town is the capital city. And as of April 2019, minimum wage is 11.55 per hour, and the provincial government has number of programs available to help students get into the job market. The job market. Job opportunities are growing in agriculture, tourism, fishing, construction, food processing, aerospace, information technology, healthcare, education, and research. Great job demand in bioscience, television, data services, gaming, lab technologies, radiation, and respiratory therapists, registered nurses, pharmacists, doctors, engineers, and trade people. A lot of opportunities in the province of PI. Now, the main industries are agriculture, fisheries, tourism, aerospace, Bioscience, information technology, renewable energy, and when it comes to the main city in Prince Edward Island, we can see the cities of Alberton, Charlottetown, Conworth. Um, based on these numbers, you can see that some are towns, some are city. So basically, there are only two cities in the whole province: Charlottetown and Summerside. Everything else is a small town. And we, we have here some information about the last census. So, interesting to, to see and good to explore for opportunity in this small province. Now let's take a look at recommended online resources that can help you make a decision about getting a job in PI. So when it comes to the Prince Edward Island, in the main website, you can see the part for jobs and you can find a lot of information about the provinces. Again, there's a lot of good opportunities based on the website. And here you have some popular links for the provincial nominee program of the of PI. So information for skilled workers outside Canada, critical workers, provincial government jobs, and skilled workers in PI. So you have the news here. You can you scroll down a little bit and you can see information about apprenticeships, education and job certification, information for employers, job with the, go with the government of PI, if you're living already in PI, summer student jobs, support for job seekers. So a lot of information that you can check and it's a very good web page to start in your job search. You also can check other information on other website, like the PI Association for Newcomers to Canada. You have some servant services basically here with a lot of link to information. They have employment programs, again, for services for employers too. If you need to refer an employer to this organization, they can help give guidance to the employer about the opportunities. Also, information for Im immigrant youth language programs, community engagement, and you have all these different topics that they cover. So you have a better idea before coming to PI and how to go about every single issue to get you ready to come to the province. All right. Another web page that you can check as well is this link which it has a map about the province and you can see here just yes, a little tiny province here you have Nova Scotia in this side, New Brunswick in this side and PI is just this island here and this island uh, is one of the most beautiful places also in Canada okay you also can check the work PI with information about labor market for the province population employment and labor income and again it's a, it's a province that is developing. It's not one of the most developed, of course, but with the demand of workers, it's a good opportunity for foreigners to come and work 
MPI and pursue their permanent residence through the province with all the choices they have. Uh, of course, the employers are more willing to look for foreign workers, okay? Another information, we go to the main website for the skilled workers outside Canada. You can have a, a description if you're eligible to work. You have to meet all these requirements. And you have here some applications that you can fill out, some forms on the right side. How to apply, it tells you exactly the process you need to follow to apply. And if you need to pay a fee for the processing fee, the forms are here listed. As about if you want to use an immigration consultant or not, it's not required, but of course, it's going to depend on your situation specifically. And the nomination is here, okay? The good information, all the links are here on the sites that you can check and certain forms as well. So, good website to, ch to double check. Also, you can check this website, the employment journey of PI, when you find jobs posting available only in the province. And you can see here, work pay, federal opportunities, this is for public service in the province, career development, they have 100 posting. If you work in truck industry, driving trucks, then you have nine jobs right now this week posted in the province of PI. If you work in agriculture, they have 33 job posting here in, in this link. If you work in biotechnology, you have 23 jobs here. If you work in tourism, they have 106 jobs. That means in hotels and restaurants. If you I have own university as a professor, of course, you have a PhD. Then you have some posting here in the University of Prince Edward Island and also in this college. And we have some recruitment agency also that are hiring. They have three postings here. They have uh, more postings as well. So you can see all the available uh, choices for people looking for jobs in PI in this website. Just take a look and the link is included in the lecture. And I hope you enjoy this lecture. Thank you very much.